Hello y'all, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and it's Christmas, so I'm going to do a Christmas thing. I'm going to make a cherry trifle. So it's common for trifles to have some kind of sponge or biscuits or, or cake in the in with the jelly and there's there's several things that gets used uh, Madeira cake is quite common amaretti biscuits if you can get your hands on those Swiss roll sliced uh, I think that's a bit weird that one but it, it does happen and um, what I'm going to use is an Italian style of biscuit called Savoyardi also known as lady fingers and nothing to do with okra so I'm making my own and this is how you do it if you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, make a donation, become a patron, etc. I really could do with some more patrons, if you, you know, if you're up for it, on Patreon. And let's get on with it. Try for l I've got four eggs. They need to be separated into yolks and whites. I've got 25 grams of corn flour, cornstarch, 100 grams of plain all-purpose flour, and 165 grams of sugar. That's half and half granulated and castor sugar. I don't think it makes a difference, but I've actually run out of granulated sugar, which is amazing. So, uh, And some vanilla stuff, vanilla bean paste, or you can use extract or, you know, an actual vanilla pod, whatever you like. So this is the bowl to hold the egg white that we're working with. That's the bowl for all the yolks, and that's the bowl for all of the egg whites. Okay, so that's one egg white with no egg yolk broken into it, so that can go into the big bowl. Now we're going to make a meringue. Yes, we are. <laughs> so put your egg whites into the bowl. When the egg whites are foamy, we'll add all the corn flour and half of the sugar and whisk those until we get stiff peaks. I usually get to a point when I'm making meringue where I've decided that it's just not going to work and then about 30 seconds later it does. So don't give up, it will take about 5 minutes, maybe more. Now we need to beat the egg yolks with the remaining sugar and your chosen form of vanilla, so just a dribble of vanilla bean paste. And whisk it till it's all mixed. Then fold in the flour and the egg white. And we want to try and just, you know, be quite delicate with folding this in because you don't want to knock the air out of it. That's what they always say, easier said than done. All right, I reckon that'll do. So you need your oven on at 160 Celsius for a fan oven, convection oven. That's 180 for a conventional one, and that is gas four. Now we need to form the lady fingers, and you can get special tins for this if you're really keen. So I'm going to pipe the, the batter into short strips, about seven, eight centimetres long. And so, you know, because we haven't got a special tin, they, they might spread out more than would be ideal. They're going to get covered in jelly anyway, so it doesn't make that much difference. Cut the end off. And squeeze. Okay, I'm going to whack these in the oven now because uh, and I'll do the others later. The more they're standing there, the, the wider they're getting. So, uh, yeah. They will probably take about 12 minutes in the oven. Alright, well, look at that. If those are ladies' fingers, those ladies are probably like bricklayers. <laughs> so, you want to get those onto a wire rack as soon as you can. This is the second batch, I've eaten one. You will notice some of them are like donuts. Um, that's because I thought I'd, I'd bought these um, these little tins last year, possibly the year before, because somebody had requested rum bar bars, but you need a special tin. And I thought, well, this, this would be it, except it's way too small. So I'm gonna put one of these, probably the little one, on top with a strawberry in it or something. Confession time. This is my second attempt at trifle. Yesterday's was, uh, I'd actually decided to cheat a bit 
to use uh, Bird's Instant Custard and Hartley's ready-made jelly and it didn't work. You know, I expected these things to be absolutely foolproof, but the, I mean, the, the jelly set and then kind of decided to unset and I think it was to do with something in, in the fruit that I used, which was frozen, hadn't been cooked. Um, and, you know, this, this, this is a thing with jelly. There, there is a class of fruit that, that contains a thing called protease, which will inhibit the setting of jelly. And it's things like pineapple, papaya, mango, stuff like that. Um, but the protease is inactivated by cooking. The fruit, however, the frozen fruit that I used out of a bag was strawberries, raspberries, black currants, blackberries, red currants. Um, and yeah, they, they tasted really weird to me, really metallic. So yeah, complete failure. And the custard, I've really never had a failure with instant custard before. Anyway, so make my own jelly, make my own custard. Uh, make my own biscuits, make my own cream topping. So wish me luck, I'm gonna need it. Thank you. Ingredients for the jelly, I've got 75 grams of Savoyardi biscuits, what I made. 100 grams of caster sugar, powdered sugar. One sachet of powdered gelatin, that is 12 grams and it'll set 570 ml of liquid. And also I've got 175 ml of water and some fruit. I've got 75 grams at the bottom of <laughs> cranberries, 100 grams of raspberries and 200 grams of strawberries and some extra ones for messing about with and decoration. So we need to make jelly. You can also get gelatin as uh, sheets, in which case follow the instructions on the packet. And just to keep you on your toes, I left out one fairly crucial ingredient, 50 ml of sherry. That's uh, oh, medium sherry, I don't know. Not, not too sweet, not too dry. And some vanilla in whatever form you like. First of all, I'm gonna blend the whole bits of fruit. In Mrs. Keith Cook's smoothie blender that I've never used before, so. So now I'm going to squeeze it through this sieve to get all the pips out. I'm going to start making up the jelly, so I need about half a cup of hot water. That's just come off the boil. It doesn't actually want to be boiling. And we'll sprinkle in the gelatine powder. Now I'm going to add the sugar. The sherry, the remaining water, a sploosh of vanilla bean paste, and the gelatin. And that should be okay. So I'm going to put that in the bowl. So this will be the bowl that you're going to serve the trifle in. So I've got this. Uh, yeah, moderately nice cut glass number from a charity shop yesterday. £1.50, then it's two litre capacity. Could try doing this kind of arrangement of biscuits up the side of the bowl. All right, and then we'll um, pour on the jelly. Right. Fingers and everything crossed. Stick that in the fridge until it sets. The jelly is set, hooray! So, time to make the custard. I've got 300ml of milk, 150ml of double heavy cream, 60 grams of caster sugar, powdered sugar, 6 egg yolks, ignore those for now, and a tablespoon of corn flour, corn starch. I'm going to put the milk and the cream into a heavy bottom pan, put it on the stove and gently bring it to the boil. While that's happening I'm going to whisk together the egg yolks and the sugar. And then whisk in the corn flour. Now we're waiting for the milk and cream to heat up. And as it comes to the boil, we just take off heat and 
pour it over the egg mixture and keep whisking. I'm just going to clean out the pan and put the mixture back in. Now we put it back on the heat and after a few minutes it should become nice and thick. Alright, that looks nice and gloopy. I hope it's uh, thick enough. We'll find out. So, I'm just going to pop that into the metal bowl that we used before. I've cleaned it out and rinsed it with cold water so it's cool because now we want this custard to cool down. Alright, the custard is cool but uh, not, not fully set yet. So I'm going to put the trifle together. There's the jelly, the little biscuit things all floated to the top. But I don't know what you can do about that. So I'm going to... I've saved a big strawberry and a couple of raspberries for decoration on the top. And the rest of them I'll just slice thinly and I'm just going to spread them out. And I'll spread the custard out on top of the fruit and the jelly. I'll be very upset if this doesn't set properly. Anyway, try and get a nice smooth level top on it and then put it back in the fridge to set. The custard is um, pretty much set. All that remains to do is whip up the cream and bung it on and some pretty decoration. And we're done. Yay! So I'm going to add 200ml of double cream, heavy cream, to my stand mixer bowl and 50 ml of sherry, 30 grams of icing sugar, confectioner's sugar, and a squirt of vanilla bean paste. And we'll just mix it all together till we get soft peaks. Well, I think that might be stiff peaks. But anyway, it's what I've got. So I'm gonna pile this on to the custard. Now I'm just going to put some decoration on the top. This is one of my donut shaped Sabiardi biscuits that I made yesterday. And so I'll pop that in the middle. And the strawberry in there. And just half these raspberries. And then the toasted flaked almonds. And now it's taste test time with Mrs. Keith Cooks. Everybody. Well, you might have got dressed up like for Christmassy like. You've you've started on the trifle. You've got it in your beard. <laughs> I've got a hat like that. <clears throat> Get stuck in. This is mine. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right. Well, this is a statement dish and a half. Okay, I've got the cream. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's... right, yeah, because it's wider at the top. So, yeah. goodness gracious me. Cheers. You're elf. <laughs> <laughs> he's, been, he's been very good, actually. But now, he deserves. You can have a sit down with my sherry. Sherry stuff my parents used to drink My sometimes. sherry amour. Mmm. <laughs> oh, he can't get his hands around this. Not the club, maybe. Stay. Stay. Right. <laughs> There'll be about three minutes of silence now while we polish this off. Yeah. Mmm. You don't like trifle. Sweetest thing I've ever tasted. Mm. It's nice. I couldn't eat a whole portion. <laughs> I think it's magnificent. I really do. It's really rich and splendid. But there's way too much cream on that. <laughs> Mind you, we could scoop it off and float it on coffee, couldn't we? <laughs> if you really want to. Yeah. Um, Sherry trifle and latte. Oh. What? Yeah. Okay. Well, so that's me stuck eating trifle all week. I'll probably die. <laughs> So thanks for watching, it's been a blast. We won't get any more. <laughs>